Hello and welcome back to my videos. In this video, I want to speak about uh, Python and Mongo Engine, how you can use auto increment uh, numbers. And why I'm creating this video is because one of my subscribers hit uh, the comments button. You can use it down below if you have any questions. And he asked me about it could be nice to have a video about how you can use um, an auto incremented key as a primary key. And in the first option, I think, why? And then I remember about the, the MySQL using always the IDs. So that's probably the reason, I don't know why. And it doesn't matter, I just check the challenge and see, I'll see how it's working. And then I discover something new about Mongo Engine. And now it's time to show it with you and all that want to learn more about the Mongo Engine framework. Before we starting to code, I will uh, appreciate if you want to subscribe to this channel to get more videos from me. If you have any questions, please make the comments below. Even if you have any kind of uh, feedback or, or something like that. I really hope you want to share this video and like it so your friends can see what you're starting to, to learn. That's it. So let's start to code. So let's start to create the first way. It's uh, it's about how we can creating the the connection. So I'll, I'll place the connection inside the lib and call it settings. And inside the settings, I'll say from Mongo engine, import connect, and then I'll just say connect here. And we need the database called test, and then we need the host. The host should be the local host. And uh, then we have the port number. It's a 27017. And then we need the username should be mongo element and the password is a secret and we need to say invention source is equal to element then we basically have creating the connection we need to use inside the application here so let's import lib settings and run the application And here we go. Everything is fine. So we can just go down and we need to go inside the ODM and create a new file called post. That's what we're going to do now. It's creating the, the post ODM. The first we're going to do now is say from Mongo engine import document. And then we say from date time import date time. We need that class post is equal to document and then we need a post ID and we need the title description then we need credit as the point we want to do now here it's, it's the post ID should be an auto incremented field and uh, then we need the title should be a string and description should be a string and credit that should be automatically the date in UDC format uh, from a date time here. Uh, every time we create a post, we don't need that. And that's what we're gonna do now. So let's go up here to say string field, date time field, and sequence field. We just copied this in. And then we're going for the date time field. And the default should be date time and you see now. And then we just go in for the post ID and put inside the uh, sequence uh, field. And then we just save it and going back for the application. Now we can go up here and say from ODM post, import post and we are ready. So let's create a post. A post is equal to post and we only need the title. Uh, Test post con test post title, and then we need the description. And description is uh, description for this test post here. And then we just need save, and that's it. So let's go in and, and running the application. Just type Python, and then in the app, and then we are say something is wrong here. It's saying date format doesn't have OTC. So let's go back here and say OTC now. It's a wrong spelling. So 
Let's go again and run the application and then we're good to go. Let's open the Mongo engine here. I know that's just a little small. I don't know how I can I can scale it up, but uh, that's it. I hope you can see that. You can see we have two tables now. The first one is the Mongo engine counters and the second one is the post. Let's first open the post and you can see we have the object ID here and then we have the post ID and title description and when it's created. If we're going back for the editor and run it one more time and going for the Mongo again and check it out. Now you can see we have one and two. It's automatically increment the post ID now so we have uh, so we have the right number. And why it's doing that is uh, it's the part of the Mongo engine library. You can go in for the Mongo engine counters and you can see it's having the the primary key called post and post ID is the reference to the collection post and then the field post ID. So remember that this collection is contain all your uh, auto increments fields you use. So you should never remove this and remember take backup of this field like you do from all the others collections. Now I know the next would be number two. So what is actually say it's number two plus one and that's what the sequence is. Let's go back and try to use this as a primary key. I'll create a new uh, ODM here and I'll just call it users. Uh, I'm going to Mongo engine, import documents and string field, date time field and sequence fields. Then we say class, whoops, classes here and call it users and just say document. And uh, what we're going to do now is say uh, user ID and the name. I'll just say string field here. And then we say created at date time, default date time UTC now. And we're going up here to say from date time import date time. And now I will use. Uh, this one sequence field uh, and you will say this is uh, look like the the post field and that's correct the only different we want to use now is just say primal key is true and then we basically use this as a primal key that's going back for the application here and uh, then we just say users user I'll just say from ODM users import users user is equal to users and username is equal to uh, Paris Nikita. just let's use my name that's fine and then just save it and then let's hit run and if we're going back for the the Mongo database here and reload the Mongo engine counters now you can see there's two fields the first one is uh, the post ID and the second one is the user ID on different uh, collections. And if we're going inside the, the user uh, collection, then you can see normally if we go in here, you can see the object ID is because the collection showing always um, the, the object, uh, the primary key in the overview. So if you open up, you can see the primary key is one. And my name is Paris Nikita Kaiser, and this user has been creating today. And that's how we can use the auto incrementing, and how we can use it uh, to uh, to as a primary key. I hope really you uh, you get this point, and I really appreciate your time here. And uh, now, I only wish you want to subscribe to this channel. You can go in the right corner below and press on the ding. If you have any questions, please make the comments below. I will try to answer them. And of course, don't forget to remember to hit the like button and the share button. And of course, the subscribe button. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.